Hi, I'm Mike Ishelansky with Plan Your Federal Retirement, and welcome to this episode in the FERS Federal Fact Check. Today, I want to talk about the FERS supplement. I get a lot of questions from people that, that come in actually quite frequently, and the main question is, how do I apply for the FERS supplement? And if you look online, there's no information about it on how to apply or how to get it, how to get that income turned on. And it's a great question. The short answer is you don't apply for it. It happens automatically in the retirement process. So if you're eligible for the FERS supplement, let's do a quick recap on what those rules are for a FERS employee. That's your MRA, you hit your minimum retirement age with at least 30 years of creditable service for retirement or you're age 60 with at least 20 years of creditable service for retirement. If you hit either one of those retirement gates, if you will, and you retire, OPM will automatically calculate your FERS supplement for you. Now keep in mind what the FERS supplement is, is it's a portion of your age 62 social security income that you're gonna get up until the age of 62. The month you turn 62, it turns into a pumpkin and it goes away because then you're eligible for Social Security at 62. Uh, then it's another question if you should apply at 62. We'll get into that in a different episode. Uh, but you don't have to apply for the first supplement. It happens automatically. So what you're gonna look for to confirm that it went through after you retire, you're gonna get a booklet in the mail. Now, this is after OPM has finalized your retirement. So for between three and nine months after you retire, OPM has been pretty good uh, recently. Retirement's been happening a lot faster in most cases. So, you know, in about three to four months uh, is what we're seeing right now with a lot of our clients. After you retire, your retirement is gonna be certified. OPM is going to send you a booklet in the mail. It's an eight and a half by 11 you know, booklet uh, piece of paper folded in half. Pretty inconspicuous, white on the cover, just has your name on the front. But that has all the details on your federal pension. I love getting that. You have a limited amount of time to appeal the information inside of there. So it's really, really important that you get that and go through it and make sure it's correct. And what you're going to see is on probably page four or five, as you kind of get into that booklet, you're going to see one of the line items and it'll break down how your pension is. What's your gross pension? Uh, do you have a survivor benefit? What are all the deductions plus your first supplement? So it'll be your gross pension, which will be your pension minus your survivor benefit, all of the deductions as a uh, minus $500 for FEHB, minus 50 bucks for life insurance, minus, you know, X for long-term care or, you know, vision and dental, any of those deductions that are going to be plus a thousand dollars for the first supplement as an example so that's how it's going to show the breakdown inside of your your certification booklet that you get from opm so good news is they make it pretty easy you, there's no special application for it is if you hit those gates you're eligible for it and then the first supplement should happen automatically i hope this video has been helpful if you have any more questions or comments please go ahead and post them below so we can see them uh, and that hopefully we can get to those questions as well until next time I'm Micah Shalansky from Plan Your Photo Retirement. Happy planning.